the outside of every cell is a bilipid fatty membrane. And so it's going to either accept a good fat and it'll nourish the cell or it's going to clog that cell up so that now all the hormones, vitamin D, all the nutrients can't get in. Is, it, is that a, a simple way we can look at this with linoleic is it, it creates congestion and inflammation in the cell? And so every time we eat it, we're, we're, we're not just affecting uh, in, uh, inflammation on a systemic level, but we're affecting hormones that can get in, nutrients that get in. Like talk about the damage on a cellular level that happens with linoleic acid. So you're exactly right. We literally are what we eat. And every cell in our body is made of lipids, like you said, you know, lipids are um, oils or fats, and we don't get those things from the air, we get them from our diet, that's the only place we get them from. So what our cells are made of, you know, the lipid bilayer and, and, um, and, and you know, lipids uh, are appear in our body more than uh, just in cell walls, but in particular, that lipid bilayer, um, it is from what we eat. And so when we are eating oils high in linoleic acid, from an evolutionary standpoint, our body has never had to deal with a diet of 10% plus linoleic acid in particular. Um, all of our cells are then made of that. And that stays in our body for years, uh, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I, I think the half-life is something like two and a half years, I even if you quit seed oils cold turkey. Okay, let's, I, I, I don't want to miss this point because this is a, something that my doctor group, we've been asked, talking a lot about, is that these oils stay in your system for over two years. So let me make sure I understand this right. If I go, like, I'll just be transparent. One of my favorite foods on the planet are sweet potato fries. And so if I go out and eat sweet potato fries and they're putting it in a vegetable oil that is high in this linoleic acid, that's not exiting my body for two years, one round of French fries? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. And, you know, that's not the case with something like sugar or flour, for example, you know, you eat it, it maybe gives you an insulin spike. Um, but, you know, your liver detoxifies that sugar and it's out of your system in a matter of hours or days. Um, but yeah, linoleic acid, the, the fatty acid found in seed oils, it stays in there for a long time. And, and it's different depending on which cell in your body we're talking about. So whether mm -hmm. it's your, your brain cells, um, or, or, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, cartilage cells, um, and, in cartilage cells, it can be even longer than that, you know, measured in, in decades. Um, and in skin cells, for example, it can be shorter than that. I think more like, uh, months because th those recycle uh, a lot quicker, but, um, yeah, it, it can, it can stand, it can, it can stand your cells for years. And be because it's such an unstable fat, you know, it oxidizes quite easily because of the number of double bonds, um, which is why it's called polyunsaturated, multiple mm -hmm. double bonds versus monounsaturated, which is one double bond or saturated, which is no double bonds. The more double bonds, the easily, the more easily oxidizes, uh, the more easily oxidizes, the more it breaks down into harmful compounds, like literally toxins, you know, toxicologists um, defined toxins, not like in, you know, the modern form of toxin, everything's a toxin, um, but, but actually something that is acutely toxic in high enough doses and, and chronically toxic in low doses.